Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of full stack Java projects, let us go with one more new project in this video. That is Employee Management System. This project is developed using Spring Boot and Angular. Meaning, the back end is done by using Spring Boot and the front end is with Angular. And for this project, we are going to make use of the technologies like we go with the Spring Boot and we make use of Hibernate and the database we are going to make use of MySQL and the front end we are going to develop using Angular and we are going to make use of Bootstrap integrated in this Angular framework. Now what we are going to do in this employee management system project is here we should able to add the employee. We should able to add employee. We should able to update the employee. All the crude operations we are going to see here. So what do you mean by crude operations? We should able to create means add the employee, insert employee, update employee, delete employee and get the employee list. We, are, we should able to get the list of records present in the employee table. So we should able to add employee. We should able to update employee. Update employee. We should able to delete the employee and we should able to list the employees. So the employees which are present, we should able to list the employees. We are going to see all the crude operations and these all crude operations is developed using Spring Boot and in that we are going to make use of Spring REST APIs. We are going to develop the REST APIs and from Angular, from the front end Angular, we are going to invoke that REST APIs. So the technologies, what we are going to use in this project is, let me list out the technologies used in employee management system project. Here in this case, we make use of the database mysql database mysql database and we are going to use 8 version okay. the backend backend or you can say server side we are going to make use of spring boot we are going to make use of spring boot and we make use of spring rest module so we make use of spring data jpa module and we make use of hibernate framework right we are going to make use of the tools like lombok tool we are going to test our rest apis using postman tool so these are the back end side what we are going to use then coming to the front end the front end the ui design user interface design for this user interface design we are going to make use of angular framework we'll make use of angular framework and we make use of bootstrap bootstrap we are going to make use of bootstrap it's a css library what is this bootstrap it's a css library so we are going to include this bootstrap library into our angular framework and we are going to develop the ui design ui design by using this bootstrap and in this angular framework we are going to make use of http client module what is the main use of http client module to invoke the rest apis to invoke the rest apis uh, created in Spring Boot. Created in Spring Boot project, we are going to invoke this REST APIs using this HTTP client module from our Angular framework. So these are the technologies what we are going to use in this employee management system project. Now let me run this project and show you how this project looks. Let me run this. Already we have 
open this browser and type the localhost 4200. This is the URL what we are going to use to run Angular project. So this is the front end part. And here you can see the contingency employee management system. And here we should be able to list the employees. See when we click on this employee list, here we are able to see the list of employees. We should be able to add the employee. We should be able to add the employee. For example, let me go with the name of the employee like uh, John. Designation some HR. Employee salary some 30,000. So when you click on this save employee, see that new employee got added here. Let us add one more employee. Go with the employee name, Mary. Employee designation, programmer. Employee salary, some 65,000. Save employee. See, you can see the record got added into our list here. So once we add the employees, it's going to show the list of employees automatically on our browser window. And this part of area, we call it as the header. Header, and this is our floater. So we are able to manage the header part and even the footer part. In this employee management system, we can even go with the update operation. So when you click on this update, so here if you want to change the details like the name, designation, salary. For example, I want to update the salary to 55,000. Then see, just to change the values. And when you click on this update employee, see for this employee Raj, the salary has, an, has been updated to 55,000. So like that, we can even update the other employees. For example, I want to update the designation to something like a project manager. And we want to even change the salary, something like 95,000. Then see, update employee. See, the record got updated for this Mary employee. The designation has been updated to project manager. And see the salary has also been updated to 95,000. We should able to even delete the employee. So just if you click on this button delete, the record will get deleted here. Just to click on the button delete, the record will be deleted. So this is the complete project explanation. So this project is employee management system project. And this project is developed using this Spring Boot technology in that we are going to make use of Spring REST module to create the REST APIs. By using that REST APIs, we should able to add an employee, update an employee, delete the employee, then uh, get the list of employees, get the list of record from table using employee ID. And in order to interact with this MySQL database, we make use of the Spring Data JPM module and we make use of Hibernate framework. And we make use of Lombok tool and Postman tool. I'll be elaborating these tools when we are working in the project. And the complete front end part we develop by using Angular framework. We make use of HTTP client module in order to invoke the REST APIs created using this Spring Boot. And to go with the look good and look look good and feel, we make use of this Bootstrap, uh, which is a CSS library, which we integrate into this Angular framework. Right. So that's about in this video. So in the next video, we'll start working with the backend and where we are going to create a Spring Boot project. Thank you. Please subscribe, like and share.